Recently I've had some people inquire about my dark room and some of just the basic setup and some of the equipment that I have. So I thought I'd make a quick video here and just sort of do an overview of the dark room and some of the equipment I have. Here we're looking at the DeVere 5108 enlarger, the 8x10 enlarger. This hasn't seen a lot of use in recent times, but I am about to start uh, utilizing more. I got a new lens for it so I can print some of my 8x10 negatives uh, this uh, season here. So here we have uh, you know, the easel, some of the various grain focusers and stuff that I use. Over here is just a catch-all shelf for negative boxes and some other various processing equipment there. Some Jobo stuff. So I'll come over here. This is the 4x5 enlarger that I have, the 45 MXT, and then some various uh, you know, easels and my filters and so forth. Uh, the primary grain focuser I use is this Omega grain focuser here. Uh, that's a pretty, pretty sharp critical grain focuser, so that works out well. The medium format Dicro Bezler 67, and there's my 8x10 contact printer. The Chromega D enlarger here hasn't seen a lot of use since I got the 45 MXT. Oh, there's a, a reject contact print from uh, one of my shoots at an abandoned factory there. Some 8x10 holders. Uh, I probably could find a better way to store those, but. <laughs> And then there's a pretty old uh, Simon Omega 4x5 enlarger. Again, a lot of these enlargers I just have collected over the years, and they don't see as much use as they should right now, but I keep them just in case I need to use them for anything. Over here is the developing area with my trays. I have a uh, Thomas Super Safe Light there, Thomas Duplex Super Safe Light some chemical storage shelves and so forth. Um, actually underneath this, I'm going to try to lift this up here. Underneath this I have a, a waterbed heater. It's a flat heater that I've hooked up to a GFI switch and I use this in the winter time because my darkroom doesn't really get good heat and that's to keep the trays um, at the right temperature of the chemicals. And then over here I have my vertical washer. Uh, that's a 16 by 20, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 11 by 14 Dunright uh, Vogel uh, vertical washer. I'm in the process of trying to get a 16 by 20 vertical washer for when I make 16 by 20s. Right now, my 16 by 20s are just being rinsed with a. Well, here, let me get, let me get it out. Um, just being rinsed with this Kodak uh, circular washer there. It's not the best method for washing and I can't wash as many prints and so forth. So to rinse them archivally I have to really make sure that I rinse them for a good long time. Um, I have some of my 4x5 developing equipment up here. Those are combi plane uh, uh, developing tanks and then some miscellaneous 120 and 35 millimeter developing tanks, my graduated cylinders, a little drying rack for some uh, RC prints if I'm doing some proofs, and then this is my work sink. Actually I don't have any running water into my darkroom. What I've done is I've tapped into my uh, washing machine uh, water supply and then brought it in. I don't know if you can see that there. I brought it in through this uh, I Drilled a hole in the wall and then put a splitter on it so I can mix the hot and cold there and then I just uh, Put a drain line on the bottom of this uh, work sink here, and then it goes out um, out into the uh, the drain uh, the floor drain out in my basement Here are some uh, storage containers here. I think I have some uh, 8x10 developing equipment in there and then down in this drawer down here I have some more various 8x10 holders. Um, 
stored away down there. In these drawers over here, I think I just have, well, there's some miscellaneous prints in there and some 4x5 film that I've got stored away. some 8x10 film. I have a lot more 8x10 film in a freezer, but this is sort of where I put the 8x10 film that I'm currently in use, uh, in, I'm currently using. Uh, down here there's some more 8x10 film. Some, some more miscellaneous stuff, thermometers and, and so forth. Um, down here we have spot toning pens, static brushes, and down here we have some uh, some more miscellaneous things. Actually, right here I've got some film, some T Max 100 120 film that I store uh, because I'm testing how well it will do past its expiration date. Here is a roll that is expired in 1999 that I will eventually shoot and test just to see how it fares with uh, uh, how long it will last after its expiration date. This is my dark room overall. Um, and I have a lot more miscellaneous storage spaces. I mean, the dark room is not um, an amazing, you know, dark room in terms of, you know, I've seen a lot nicer dark rooms that people are using, but it serves its purpose. Um, a lot of the prints that you'll see on my videos are made right here in this dark room.